freedom and privacy in solidarity with our friends in Mexico and throughout the Spanish-speaking world, we say, insistemos en que la libertad y la privacidad in solidarity with our friends in Brazil, we say, insistimos in libertade e privacidade. We insist on freedom and privacy. The state, the state has made this equation. Security or liberty, take your pick. Liberty for all! Liberty for all! Listen to Benjamin Franklin's yep, yep. well-known admonition. In 1755, he said, those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Let's be or die. Today, in 2013, faced with a choice from a government which moves without morality, without respect for liberty or law, here or abroad, without adherence to the Constitution, let us declare that we have made the choice and we choose liberty. Get the get the gun! We choose liberty over a national security state. We choose liberty over threats. We choose liberty over fear. We choose liberty over suspicion. We choose liberty. We demand the protection of our First Amendment rights. Yeah! We demand freedom of association. Yeah! We demand freedom of speech. We yeah. demand freedom of press. Yeah. We demand the protection of our Fourth Amendment rights. Yeah! We demand the right to be free from unreasonable search and seizure. Yeah! Yeah! We assert, we assert, and we demand a right to privacy. Yes. We want the government out of our bedrooms, off of our phones, out of our email, out of our contacts. We want the government out of our reading list, our personal finances, out of our education records. We want the government to stop wasting our money trying to prove that they are protecting us. In 1775, Patrick Henry said, Give me, me liberty, liberty or give or me death. In 2013, we demand life and liberty. We claim life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness as our rightful inheritance as Americans. This was the promise of the Declaration of Independence written by Thomas Jefferson that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men and women, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, that when any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of people to alter, or to abolish it, and to institute new government. If these words written by Thomas Jefferson sound radical today, it is because the U.S. government has journeyed far from the spirit of July the 4th, 1776, which was a spirit not just of revolution, but an evolution of an awareness that the very legitimacy of the state depended upon the support of the natural rights of its citizens. We are here to reawaken that spirit, to rekindle that awareness. We are here to demand the repeal of the Patriot Act and the shutting down of the NSA. Yeah. We choose liberty. Yes. There is no middle ground between the tyranny of the state and the rights of a free people. We demand that our government focus on real security issues at home, the security of a job, the security of an education, the security of health care for all. The security of retirement. The security of housing. The security of our neighborhoods. The security of investments. The 
the security of, fall, of small businesses. This is real security. We're prepared to take back our government. Are we prepared to take back our government? We will take it back from unresponsive political parties. We will take it back from an administration which mocks the Constitution. We will take it back from a Congress which gave away our rights in a panic. We will take it back from corporations which collude with the government to destroy our rights. We are ready to engage. We are prepared to recommit ourselves, as did the original patriots so many years ago, to mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, our sacred honor. Hear the call of history to a new generation of Americans to relight the lamp of liberty. Hear the call of destiny that it is for us to reclaim America. Let us do it with a passion for truth. Let us do it with a passion for justice. Let us do it with a passion for freedom. Let us do it with relentless commitment. Let us declare an unbreakable unity and let us prepare for the arduous task of fully restoring our constitutional freedoms, our rights in this, the land we love. Thank you. Thank you very much.